Among the treasures of the Higgins Armory Collection in Worcester, Massachusetts, is a book called The Art of Combat. Written by the German fencing master Joachim Meyer in 1570, the book is one of the most important treatises on medieval and renaissance weapons techniques, and the Higgins copy is one of only a handful known to be in the Western Hemisphere today. Very little is known about Joachim Meyer's early years. We know that he was born in the Swiss city of Basel, possibly in 1537. The earliest record of his life appears in 1560, when he married Apollonia Ruhlmann, after moving to Strasbourg. Meyer worked as a blade maker, but also became renowned as a master of fencing and swordplay. Both Basel and Strasbourg are located on the banks of the Rhine River. This location put them at the crossroads of the European continent, and the city saw travelers from all parts of Europe. Both cities were largely Protestant and became important centers for that religious movement in Meyer's day. During the 1560s, Meyer organized numerous competitions for his students to showcase their skills. Along with the rapier, the newly fashionable weapon of fencing, Meyer's pupils also competed with the longsword and with pole arms, such as the quarterstaff and halberd, as well as wrestling and dagger play. In addition to organizing competitions, Meyer also assembled his own martial arts treatises. His first major treatise is known as the Rostock Manuscript, and includes sections on the long sword, the rapier, the dagger, and a one-handed sword called the Longa Messer. This manuscript was a compilation of earlier martial arts treatises, along with Meyer's comments and additions. The most well-known martial arts master Meyer included in this compilation was Johannes Lichtenauer, an influential swordmaster who wrote about combat with the longsword 300 years before Meyer. Lichtenauer's system was the basis for German longsword combat. Meyer's second major treatise is called the Lund Manuscript. This manuscript dates to about 1568 and includes sections on swordplay with a variety of weapons. This manuscript is a single work by Meyer rather than a compilation of prior treatises. Meyer went on to revise the contents of the Lund Manuscript for publication, culminating in his crown jewel, The Art of Combat, in 1570. The book includes extensive sections on numerous weapons and was richly illustrated with woodcuts, making it very expensive to print. Meyer was forced to borrow money in order to pay for its production. In order to promote his book and find a sponsor to help him get out of debt, Meyer attended the Imperial Diet, a political gathering of the nobles of the Holy Roman Empire at Speyer in 1570. At the Diet, Meyer was able to secure a contract as a fencing master to Duke Johann Albrecht I of Mecklenburg-Schwerin. Not only would this position bring him prestige, recognition, and a salary, but it would also give him access to wealthy customers who could buy his book. After returning home, Meyer shipped his books to Schwerin and set out in January of 1571. His 500-mile journey in the middle of winter took a severe toll on his health. He arrived at the Duke's court on February 10th and died on February 24th. His brother-in-law took over Meyer's debts and became the guardian of Meyer's widow. The Duke claimed that all the copies of Meyer's books were ruined by water damage. The plates and the woodcuts of the book were sold to pay off Meyer's debts and were used to print a second edition of the book in Augsburg in 1600. Meyer's manuscripts found their way to Rostock University and Lund University which lend the documents their names. The Higgins copy of The Art of Combat is from the second printing in Augsburg. This is one of the treasures of the Higgins Armory collection. We acquired it at auction in Munich in 2004, and it is one of very few original copies of Joachim Meyer's Kunst des Fechtens, The Art of Combat, known to be in the Western Hemisphere. There's really only a, a handful of either edition. This the uh, copy is from the 1600 edition, and it's uh, really quite uh, a treasure for us to have here. Meyer is one of the most important writers to document the practices of sword play and other martial arts in the Middle Ages and Renaissance, and so he's really a crucial figure, almost the Rosetta Stone, for understanding historical martial arts. It's actually got... Uh Remarkable old binding here. This is a recycled medieval manuscript with religious poetry on it. Typically when you bought a book, you would buy it uh, unbound back in those days. And you would take the, the unbound book to a bookbinder and get a, 
uh, binding of your own choosing to go with it. In uh, this case, whoever had it decided to go for one of the cheaper options, which would be the, the recycled cover. This particular copy has uh, lost its original title page. This is a handwritten title page that was probably inserted in the, maybe the later 1600s, not later than the 1700s. And the book itself is exquisitely executed. Uh, it's, a, it's a small, physically small book, but there's a huge amount of text in there. And the woodcuts are uh, exquisite. You can really see that they're, they're quite small. Uh, the pages are about half the, the size of a sort of normal um, piece of writing paper today. But um, the level of detail on the illustrations is really quite spectacular. The Art of Combat is the work that secured Meyer's place in the history of martial arts. His book was the last major treatise in the medieval German tradition, documenting centuries-old techniques with the methodical thoroughness of a Renaissance scholar. Today, students around the world are rediscovering his techniques, bringing the pages of his book to life again at the Higgins Armory and beyond.